Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very popular interview question based on the concept of correlation coefficient. Okay, and the question is if the correlation coefficient shows zero value, this simply means that there is no relationship between two variables, true or false. Okay, pause my video, try to think about the correct answer and then check whether uh, the answer is correct or not, whatever you have predicted. And here I am explaining, okay? So the answer is false, okay? So you might think why? Because we have seen that if uh, correlation coefficient is less, that means those two variables are not related, right? So uh, uh, according to that, our result should be true, but the result is actual correct answer is false. Why? Just, just think the intuition part of correlation, which actually came from covariance. Our actual aim was to check with increasing one variable, other variable is increasing or decreasing, right? If with increasing one variable, other variable increases, or we can say in the reverse way, with decreasing one variable, if other variable decreases, then that is kind of y equal to mx type curve. And uh, if you consider negative correlation case, or if the covariance value is lower, but we have uh, concluded, with increasing one variable, other variable decreases, or with decreasing one variable, other variable increases. That is negative relationship. Right? So that time we will be getting y equal to mx, where slope is negative. Right? So you can easily understand that our correlation, covariance, all these are focusing on linear relationship, linear variation of one variable with respect to other. It never considered non-linear uh, relationship, right? And this is the case where this question is based on, okay? This is the concept based on which this uh, question, question is asked. It might happen that two variables are strongly related, but using some non-linear relationship. That time, there is a probability that you might get very low correlation coefficient but it does not mean that the two variables are not at all related, right? So the answer is false, okay? Now let me go to MATLAB and show you one simple demonstration of that. So here I have written generally what we write CLC clear all close all warning off. Then here t equal to 0 colon 0 0.01 colon 2 pi. I am varying one angle from 0 to 2 pi and I am plotting one circle which is little bit noisy, okay? So as you know, the parametric equation of circle is x equal to a cos theta, y equal to a sin theta, okay? Or r cos theta, r sin theta, where you are considering the center at 0, 0. Then I am adding some noise in it using rand function, and then I am plotting the scatter plot with filled circles and giving axis square or axis equal you can give, and then I am calculating correlation coefficient. Point to be remembered, in case of calculating correlation coefficient using CORR function, that is if you don't want to implement the whole code uh, from scratch, there is inbuilt function in MATLAB, then that is CORR. In that time, you need to give argument as column, okay? So X, I am taking transpose because X is basically low uh, vector, we can say that I am transposing and same goes for Y. Now I am just writing control A, uh, clicking control A and evaluate selection. So you can see that two variables x and y are strongly related here, but using a non-linear relationship. But if you check the correlation coefficient value m, and I am hitting enter, see minus of 0 0.0102, okay, which is very small value, approximately close to 0. So based on this, we might conclude that the two variables are not at all related, okay, kind of zero correlation, okay, but uh, here we can see that the two variables are related. They are related in using non-linear equation, not using linear relationship, okay? So this is one very important popular question that uh, if the correlation coefficient shows zero value, that does not mean that the two variables have no relationship. It means that they might have no relationship or they might have relationship, strongly they are related, but using some non-linear uh, equation, non-linear relationship, okay? So this is all for my this video. I hope you have understood this concept. These type of questions are very, very important for data science or machine learning uh, interview process. 
and i hope you have enjoyed this if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you for watching